So he said, you know what? Make them feel uncomfortable. Pinch their butt, touch their nipple, do whatever you need to do. And surprisingly, a lot of people in our team did it. Um, no homo. And it worked. I mean, they were kind of like, what? Is this kid gay? Hello, what is up, boys and girls? The Great Potus here once again with another Call of Duty gameplay free for all, as always, because you know what they call me, Mr. Free for All. And today we're going to be talking about a story that I said that I would tell you guys in one of my videos um, entitled How Valuable Is Life? And that story is the story of my coach. Um, well, he was a freshman coach, but he was my coach also that had committed suicide. So I'm going to be telling you guys the story about that. And um, just to let you guys know right off the back, this is 100% true. I'm not making any of this up. And I'm not making this video for pity for you to, guys to be like, oh, poor game, poor uh, great POTUS. We should all give him a hug or whatever. No, don't feel bad. I'm just, the reason why I'm making this video is to hopefully enlighten you guys and so that hopefully you guys don't fall in these paths as well. So let's start off by saying who the coach was. So this coach was the freshman coach for the soccer team and I was on the soccer JV team. Yet the first scrimmage that we had our coach could not be present. He had more important matters to attend to. And the freshman coach had actually come to coach our game. And he's an amazing guy. I mean, we've practiced with him before. But for him to coach us, it was a real treat. And I remember that one of the things he said was, you know what, guys? If anything, make them feel uncomfortable. And the reason why he said this is because the guys on the other team, they were big. They were tough. And they would have their bodies pressed against you so that you would not be able to get to the ball. So he said, you know what? Make them feel uncomfortable. Pinch their butt. Touch their nipple. Do whatever you need to do. And surprisingly, a lot of people in our team did it. Um, no homo. And it worked. I mean, they were kind of like, what? Is this kid gay? I'm not going to go near him. And, and they'd be kind of afraid, intimidated, um homosexually I guess you could say to come near us and it, it worked to our advantage and it was and it was really fun time it was really funny um actually at the end of the day not that any of us were gay um but yeah it was a great time and this coach was a great man I mean he was funny and he was energetic all the time he cared about the soccer program and he cared about his players and he was as I said he's an amazing guy he would always tell us jokes he wouldn't really care if like if one of us messed up he said don't worry about it man You'll get it next time. He was very encouraging, and he had actually played for our school, and he played on varsity, and he scored the goal that won the championship um, for one of the last times that we won the championship. So it was a great time for the coach, and he was somebody that was big in the soccer program in the high school. Now, a few weeks after the season had ended, um, all the freshman people or all the freshman players, or most of them, got a call from this coach saying, hey man, how are you doing? You're doing good? That's well. Keep it up. How's school doing? All right, you better get those grades up. How you doing in soccer? Good. Keep up with that and you'll become a professional one day. Man, take care and I'll see you next and I'll see you later. And he's called basically every single player of the team. And this is what kind of caught me off guard. He called every player of the team and um, everybody was like, oh, did you get that call from far from um, coach? And everybody was like, yeah, we got the, we got the call from coach. And Everybody's like, it was far different than from anything that, like, we've heard. It, it, it was a lot different than any other phone call. So, everybody was talking, like, why is he checking up on us? I mean, I know he's a nice guy, but it's kind of weird that he wouldn't just come visit us. He's actually calling us and whatnot. Later to find out, he had committed suicide. And one of the things that I struggled with personally was I did not understand why he called his players to say goodbye. I mean, I, I understand that he loved his players and everything and he wanted to say a final goodbye to them and I have no problem with that. First of all, I wouldn't have wanted him to do that anyways, but he did it and he said goodbye to all his players and I appreciate that because he at least said goodbye. But it, it kind of left the players in a sense of I was on the phone with him and I should have known that he was going to do this and that there was nothing that I did to stop it. And it, it left a lot of kids with a guilty conscience for a long time and it left a lot of us going to counseling in like basically like therapy or counseling sessions about this matter because it was very impacting to the school, to us, and especially to the soccer program in general. I mean, JV varsity and freshmen were hurt. He had committed suicide. He overdosed and it, it was a great tragedy for us. And a lot of people went to his funeral to pay their respects and it was a little bit weird for us because he was of a, of a religion that none of none of us were very sure of. 
So it was a little bit weird um, for us to, to step into that environment in the funeral, but in the end of the day, we did realize that we did want to pay our respects, and so a lot of people went to the funeral to pay their final um, their final respects. And the reason for this video, as I said, guy, guys, it's not for self-pity. It's not for me to be like, hey, it's just another video to get out there. This is a video as well as a how valuable is your life video that I wanted to get out for self-awareness. And I just wanted to say, guys, this is not... It's not the option, guys. As I said in the story, I, I'm i pretty sure that the coach didn't expect for all the people that were hurt to be hurt. I mean, if anything, I, I would have assumed that the only people that would have gotten hurt were his parents, his brothers or sisters, if he had any, his family, and his close friends. That's what I thought were going to get hurt. But it affected a lot more than that. It affected his family, his friends. It affected the whole school a school of about like, well, like, I think it's like 2,500 kids. It affected a whole school. So, guys, please don't fall into that. If you are struggling with suicide thoughts or anything, links in the description for any help. If you want to, feel free to come to me. I will do anything because I would not be able to live with the conscience knowing that I could have saved a life and I did not do my part in doing so. So, if you guys have any problems, please feel free to come up to me. I may not be the best um, advice person but i'll do my best and i i just want to know that you guys are okay but um that's basically it for this video thank you guys so much for watching um remember guys links in the description if you have any questions at all and i will see you guys next time hopefully you guys are enjoying these cod commentaries and i'm hoping to release more of high school story sort of based um videos such as this one because this happened in high school and there's a lot of more stuff that happened in my high school experience that I would like to share with you guys such as my freshman year, such as um, bullying, a lot of things that I would just love to share with you guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys would like to see and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much guys.